All right, with every single InDesign template that I send out, you will see inside the zip file a font info PDF. It looks just like this, and it will list for you exactly all of the fonts I used for that particular template and where you can get them. So I'm going to show you today how to install one of these fonts onto your computer, and specifically a Mac. Uh, I'm not going to show you a PC. So the first one is Baybus New, and you can go right here to this link that I've provided, and I've actually already pulled it up. So we'll bring it up here on Safari, and it's on my fonts, and you can see the price over here is zero, which is a great price, but that is not always the case. I use a lot of premium fonts, and some of them do charge uh, somewhere, anywhere between $5 to $32. I think there's one font that I really like that is something really expensive like $300 uh, and some dollars. But there are many fonts that look very similar if there is a particular font that you want to keep the same look and feel but you want to find something different. Um, you can do that as well. So here we're going to buy it. It's zero. That sounds like a good price. I'll go ahead. I'll add it to my cart. Um, it's added so I'll go to my cart. And then, oops, so yeah, twice, I only need once. Uh, I will check out. I will place my order. I'll say I've read and understand. And then I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now, I'll pull it out of my downloads file and install it. So it's over here, Babus New. Uh, I don't need the license information, I just need um, this open type font file right here. So to install it on my Mac, let me close some windows for you. I'm going to go over here to the search finder on the right, the spotlight search, and I'm going to type in font book. Now these are all the fonts that I have as a user and also all the fonts that are installed on this computer. So in theory if there are if there is more than one user on your computer, they could all use them if you install them here, but if you want the fonts to be specific to you, uh, you can put them in here. I don't have any other users, that's why you only see user. So it's really easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the OTF file and I'm and it's going to ask me for my password for this map to make any changes. And now your font's installed, and now it is on your computer. Now when you open up InDesign, you should be able to see it, so let's just try to draw a text box here. I love InDesign templates from the fabulous designs shop. And we'll highlight here, we'll go up here, and we will look for Babus New. And now you can see it's been changed. So there you go. That's all you need to do to install the font. And it should work on anything, whether or not you have Photoshop open, Microsoft Word. It is now part of the computer, and it will show up wherever you have a font drop-down list like so.